GM, we're going to go through a full walkthrough of Orca from Kajira today. I'm going to go through the following topics. What is Orca? Why would you want to use it? Some market analysis to see exactly where we want to bid on liquidated assets. Also, how to set the bids. And then finally, how to withdraw. So completing the full life cycle of this particular product. So if you enjoy this one, make sure you subscribe for more and make sure you check out the other Kajira videos in this series. So first and foremost, what is Orca? Now I love the term they have on screen here, democratized DeFi liquidations. So this lets you know you can bid on liquidated assets in a manner that was previously only open to whales or users of very sophisticated bots. Up till now, it's been very difficult for retail to get a slice of this action, but we can here with Kajira's Orca. So the explainer on screen, built on Kajira, Orca, the world's first public marketplace for bidding on liquidated collateral, by effectively participating in a Dutch auction, users are able to obtain liquidated collateral at up to a 30% discount. So long gone are the days where you need to be a bailiff, rock up to someone's house and take their assets from them to repay their debt. Now we can do this on Orca with a few clicks of a button. So here we have the main interface. I am logged in here with my wallet and I want to draw your attention to this, the Orca Alerts tab, very useful for this as this shows you the most at-risk assets on Orca right about now. As it states, this collateral here is currently at a risk ratio of over 95%. So you can just dive straight into that through that tab by there. So that is a very useful starting point. But here is the main interface. Let's roll through this and some of the reasons why you may want to utilize this. So this is the main markets page here. So from this, we have the collateral types on the left, the bid denominations. So what you will bid on this asset here with the total value locked, i.e. the amount of this asset here locked in. And then the pool size denotes how much of this asset is currently bid for this asset and the maximum discount for all of these is 30%. You can then see what your bids currently set are, the value of them, and you can also view the market tab from there. That's just a basic overview. Now, why would you want to bid on liquidated assets? Two main reasons. This will help to prevent further cascading liquidations. So of course you can be the good guy backstopping the protocols here, stopping further liquidations taking place, but also you can turn a very nice profit here by buying assets below their current market value. So you really can play all sides of the markets on Kajira. And with this, I wanna go over the two main market types here. So you can see the ghost here. So this denotes that this is a ghost collateral market, i.e. users have put down USK as collateral to borrow Kuji. Now you can take the opposite end of this and actually become a lender to this market and with your lent out tokens, bid on the collateral asset being liquidated and buy it at a discount. So very interesting dynamics there. So we have all of these ghost ones, our ghost markets currently open. So that's why we have a lot of markets on here. And secondly, we have USK markets here as well. So these ones do not have the ghost logo attached to them. And as you can see, these ones without are all USK markets. So USK is the stable coin of Kajira and it's a collateralized debt position stable coin. So this means for each dollar of value of USK created an equivalent amount at least of the collateral asset has been put down. So for example, you might put down $2,000 worth of Polkadot to mint a total of say 500 bucks of USK. But if the value of DOT goes down and down and down, eventually the loan to value ratio is gonna come down so far that DOT needs to be liquidated to ensure we have that backing of $1 of USK to a dollar of Polkadot to maintain the peg of USK. So this in itself is a safety mechanism for USK that you can participate with. So from the top here, I want to go through two types of bids here. I wanna bid on a ghost market and also I wanna bid on a USK market as well. So from the collateral type, I want to get my hands on some more Kuji tokens at a nice discount. You can see the markets are here and this denotes it's a ghost market. So as I state, individuals have put down Kuji as collateral to get more stable coins, but we're gonna play the opposite side here. We're gonna to need to lend some stable coins into this market in order to get X USK and then use it to bid 
on said Kuji. The total value locked here is $888,000 worth of Kajira tokens. The pool size, i.e. the amount of bids, is around 10,000 bucks of XUSK. Let's jump on in. So let's roll through this page. We can navigate back to the markets page. That's where we were with all that initial information. Then here we have an explainer of the market we're in. We're bidding for liquidated Kuji using XUSK. And then to the right, we have the analytics tab we'll jump into in just a second. Then on the main chart here, we have the pool value in XUSK. That is the axis up here. And then running along here is the discount rate. So the amount of discount I want to bid at, i.e. 10% here, below market value. So if liquidations start to come in at that level, I'd be able to buy Kuji at 10% off the current market price. And then we can see from the towers here, the amount of USK bids at these various buckets. So as you can see, there's a lot here at a 20% discount, goes all the way down to 30% there. On the right-hand side as well, we can place our bids. So say I wanna bid at 20%, maybe just click this here. That goes now to 20% discount. And then I can bid as much XUSK as I have in my wallet here. And of course, you can quickly adjust this with the bid amount percentages, just like that. Towards the bottom, we have some stats here. This is where the analytics come into play. The ratio of pool to locked collateral value, i.e. the collateral value in here is around 889,000 USK worth of value. So that is the sum total of all Kuji in this borrow market. We then have just 10,000 bucks worth of USK bids in here. Just eyeballing that, that looks like a pretty good ratio, around 1%. The total locked collateral is the total number of Kuji, i.e. 1.3 million. 1.3 million multiplied by the current market price there of around 65 cents gets you that figure there. But what we can do here is jump into the analytics tab and see where it may be appropriate to start bidding in here. So from this, we can gauge where to place our bids and maybe make an assumption as to how likely it is a bid could get filled. So click on analytics and we have a chart on the left that shows us the cumulative collateral buy risk ratio. So this shows you the sum total of all these 880 odd thousand dollars worth of Kuji and at what percentage they would be up for liquidation. At the 100% level, this dashed line here and this dashed line here, this is where the collateral would start to be liquidated to start paying down the debt and ensure that that ghost market is working correctly and we don't get left with bad debt. And of course, as the collateral value, so Kuji in this instance, if it kept dropping and dropping and dropping, you're gonna move into these territories 120, 140%, where more and more of the collateral starts to get liquidated until it all gets liquidated eventually. But this column on the right-hand side shows you the collateral buy risk ratio with more precision. So this shows you exactly, so you can see on each hump here, $897 worth of Kuji is at an 85% risk ratio. Then we have a spike here, $42,000 worth at an 80% risk ratio. So if you can work out the maths on this, you can understand at what price point QG would have to drop for these collateral amounts to start to be liquidated. And with that information, you can make an educated guess at where to place your bids. And of course, you will then want to factor in where other bids are placed as well. See that huge tower there? If this was really ramped up, like close to like 95% or something, this is where you would want to be stacking some bids in this market because there's a lot of collateral on the line there and the potentiality of a big liquidation to hit. So to navigate back to the bidding page to actually place a bid, we must go to submit liquidation bids. So how do you get your hands on XUSK? Well, as I mentioned, you're playing the opposite end of this market here. So people have used Kuji to borrow USK. Now, if you want to be a lender of USK, you need to go to the ghost market and go to the lend tab and then just type in U for USK and you can see it down here. So this is how you can convert your USK into XUSK. There's a lend button there, click on a lend and then tap in the amount of USK you wish to convert to XUSK. You will then be earning interest on that USK. You click lend and then you approve the transaction. So in my wallet, I just increased my XUSK holding up by 100, so I'm now up to 199 there. So I can now max out my bids at 199 XUSK. So this is a really great way to get yourself not only discounted QG, but whilst you're waiting for your bids to get hit, you're earning interest on those underlying stable coins. Pretty epic stuff. 
Now you can see down here the number of times a particular bin has been emptied. So there's been one complete empty of the 5% pool. So I'm gonna go for that one here, click on 5% discount. There's only 265 bucks of XUSK currently bid in there. And I'm gonna apply my 199 in here. So 5% discount, 100% of my freed up capital. There's potentially two boxes that will pop up here. One is for C Shanty, the bot, which will automatically set your Orca bid after a 10 minute period. There's a kind of 10 minute threshold to stop bots from coming in and front running bids. So you would take that one across and you also have to take this one across. Withdrawal of a successful bid will include a 0.5% fee so that is the revenue to this protocol and all of those revenues go back to the kuji stakers and then you just press place my bid and approve the transaction so now on the chart you can see this bubble here denoting i have a bid open and down here you can see my bids kuji five percent premium bid remaining and the status it will be ready in nine minutes time so back to the markets page i do want to show you quickly a bid using the usk market so this is for individuals who have minted usk using their collateral so these are all the collateral types that can be posted to mint usk and what i want to do is bid on some staked atom so this means individuals have put down staked atom as collateral and minted usk against it there's quite a bit of value in this pool. I'm going to go on view market and you can see from the bottom of the page that there has been quite a lot of recent liquidation. So this has been quite a fruitful market as of late. You can see a load of empties of these various bins in recent history here, which is pretty good to see. Shows us there's plenty of opportunity in here. So let's go over to the analytics page because this is a good one to show off here. There's $633,000 worth of staked atom in here. And you can see by the risk ratio on the right hand side, there's quite a lot, a decently high risk here. $100,000 worth at a 90% risk ratio. So this is why there's been quite a lot of recent liquidations with the market being choppy. Once the value of Atom goes down, if it drops drastically in a day, you get these liquidations really gearing up. So back to this page and I need to have USK, just normal USK on hand for this one. And say 100 grand's worth of collateral becomes at risk in the next few days, maybe 10% of that gets liquidated. That's around 10 grand's worth of state atom that could be up for grabs. You can see there's quite a lot of bids here in these buckets, three grand, six grand, almost eight and a half grand there. I maybe wanna front run this a little bit, not get too greedy and do a 7% discount. Click on 7%. And then 100% of my liquid USK. I've got around 700 bucks there. So I want to actually bid using that as I'd be very happy to pick up some staked atom at a 7% discount to market. Again, activate the C Shanty bot and activate the fact I'm happy for the 0.5% withdrawal fee and then click place my bid. Approve in wallet. So if that cheeky 7% bid does get filled, or at least partially filled, you'll be able to see in here available to withdraw and the amount of staked atom. You would then click the withdraw button and approve that transaction to get that deposited directly to your wallet. And why do I say partially filled, not fully filled? Well, there is a chance that maybe not that much staked atom actually gets liquidated. And say it does come down to this kind of level at the 7% discount, Anyone else in this bucket who joins me would get a proportional amount of that discounted atom if liquidated. So say I own 50% of that bucket at 7% discount, but it only fills a dollar amount of 50% of total value. I would just get half of my dollar value converted into state atom. So in conclusion, Orca allows you to bid on liquidated assets in a way that hasn't been done before, giving you and me the opportunity to buy collateral at a discount to market and make easy profits. We've also seen that the analytics pages are very useful to get some insight as to whether a liquidation is likely or not. So with this information, I wish you some happy hunting here on Orca and I will see you in the next one. Peace.